how to make your old mattress and pillows into a new camping mattress and uh, really the pillows you could use for anywhere. So what I did was I got two different brands of uh, covers. Um, for the mattress it uses two separate brands and for the pillows I just use the same brand. I have these mat this mattress from uh, Amazon that I've had for several years and its top layer is a much softer foam and then the firmer foam layer here then there's a gap and then the bottom layer the total mattress thickness is eight inches uh which is too thick for like doing the camper van or things like that you don't really need that big of a mattress so what i'm doing is cutting sections from the top soft one and the next layer out of the mattress you can see i have done two i got these two more left to do i measured them out just to where i feel like they'll fit snug and then the first piece I put on these pillowcases, Coop Home Goods, these are 20 by 30s, queen size. And once I stuff them in there, these pillowcases actually don't have any like extra fabric. They really uh, get nice and tight with them. And then afterwards, then I cover them with the second mattress covering. Both of them apparently are uh, stain proof and waterproof, or like stains won't go through them. So whenever you do your laundry, you just take the outer case off, wash all the outer cases, and then put all the outer cases back on. You don't need sheets anymore. It sits very much snug and firm on there. Uh, the outside case, I got eight of these. Uh, Sleep Solution Moon Sea. They're a little bit looser than the um, the, uh, the Coop, Cooper one. So you get the four sections cut out. You know, the four sections will be in the Cooper ones, or the Coop Home Goods. And then they'll go into these cases. The pillows, what I did was I took these old crappy pillows and pulled the foam out of them. And then I chopped up a mixture of this foam and then the soft foam. I chopped it all up on the cutting board like I was chopping up chicken with a big sharp knife. And then I did put them all into two of these cases and then put these cases inside another two of these cases. That way, instead of having this part, it's not really necessary for a pillow. You want your pillow to be able to get a lot thicker than that. And uh, these are the finished products. And I actually, is this pillow and this pillow sleep great? And what I do is I filled this one more. This can be like your hugging pillow. And then I filled this one a little less because I'm a side sleeper so I can lay on it. And my head will be basically parallel with the bed that I'm sleeping on. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. It's a good, cheap, easy way to uh, take something you already have because a lot of people already have these kind of mattresses and a couple old pillows kicking around. And then recycle it into really nice quality Camping mattresses that can be packed around, you can store them, and then when you get where you're going and you put your stuff in the front seat, you can lay these out where you're going to sleep, or if you're in a camper van, you can just have them laying out. You can also have it to where when you're sitting up, it's a seat back cushion and the bottom cushion, and then when you go to bed, you lay that thing out, and then it's uh, the bed you sleep on. Pretty versatile, pretty uh, handy, and all this extra foam, I'll just throw it away.